Oh. Okay. And we just got a bunch of logs for that. Alright, well. Let's take this shit slow. Because I don't think I could take another fight like that. At least not right the second. I'd have to rest, which I don't want to. Um, let's look around. Let's look around. There's nothing over here. Oh, what the hell? Sagani? Hush, Ituma. We'll just wait a little longer. What? What up? A dwarven woman dressed in skins and hides leans against the road marker. A large white furred fox stands at her heel. Easy, heel. Ituma. It's not him. Uh, who are you waiting for? I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. What? Uh, friends with me That's here. what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my well, first clue, but I had to try something. Wait, what? The long version. Here we go. What? I'm from an island to the far south called Nasita. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persog. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persock's trail is cold, to say the least. Alright. Uh, how long have you been looking? Uh, five- Jesus. He died when I was still- What? <laughs> Forget to mention that part, did I? Uh, I'm looking for his latest reincarnation, which could be anyone. That about sums it up. That sounds fucking awful. Uh, why'd you have to find him? The more, uh, that's more of a campfire tale. Okay. That must be important. So I keep reminding myself. Still, it would be nice if important duties came with clearer instructions. Uh. What's with the statue? <laughs> uh, Paul said you're worn. Okay. Cute, isn't it? It belonged to Persaw. Oh Before shit! Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. You feel wisps was the same. <sighs> what traces of someone? When I left Nasitok, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer uh... to Persaw, it's glowed steadily brighter. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Uh, I could take a look. I've heard that one before. <laughs> whole reason I'm standing here is because some so-called watcher from Forked Vale told me he could take a look. For a few golden dukes, of course. Wow. I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He made a big show of moaning and rolling his eyes, and after I'd given him five golden dukes to lift the shroud, he told me to seek the crossroads in the field between the wolf's lair and the twining trees. All right. He thought he was being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place, right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a friendly warning. I told him I'd come back and leave him with another if it turned out he was giving me the runaround. Wow. I've been here a week now. Guess he had the last laugh after all. What the fuck? This person's crazy. Why? Uh... I'm a real watcher? I mean, I'm, like, I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna tell her. You expect me to believe that? After uh, the story I just told you? You got nothing to lose. Fine. But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. Okay. Here's the Adger Bear. Let's see. Uh, standing at. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. 
Um, so you're standing on a cliff overlooking water, seeing through eyes that aren't your own. You catch a musk of catch a musk of beasts amidst the fresh scent of vegetation, and the heart beats, and your heart beats a little faster. You have to watch your step up here. You look down long enough to see sharp, pale cliffs drop to water hundreds of feet below you. Uh, oh, I just don't have the perception. <laughs> All right. What are you talking about? What just happened? I told you I'm a goddamn watcher. She blinks at you a few times. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Alol. Thanks for you finally backing I've me up. No coin to give you, even if I did believe you. Uh, come with me. Yeah. If this is your idea of a joke, you may be stuck with me for a while. Lead the way. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. So now I have a uh, ranger. Point what are, the way. What are your powers? Wounding shot. Uh, target hobbled. 100% damage inflicted over time. That's cool. That was this marked prey. 34 seconds plus 20 damage against marked targets. That's cool. Oh, so the animal companion gets that as well. Does the animal have any t abilities? No. Hmm. Okay, let's chat. What up? Her fox following her heels takes a seat next to you. Even if you are putting one over on me, it's nice to have a hunting party again. Uh. Is he? Five it's important. Five years for me. Must be thirty something for Itumok. Itumok. Oh, so that's like a, what? It's been a long hunt. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> time away from my family. Before, I'd crossed the tundra of Nasitok following caribou herds. I didn't want to leave Kalu and our children, but I was eager to visit lands my people rarely do. But five years without finding him. Okay. It's like two hours of necking. I'm ready to be done with it. What the hell is necking? Uh... Why do you have to find them? recovery is an old village tradition. We call it the Tarnak Elite Sock. Once in a generation, we seek the soul of a much respected and long dead village elder. We tell him what's changed in the village, how people remember him. Okay. The only other Tarnak Elite Sock during my lifetime happened when I was a girl, not long after Persok died. We feasted on blubber and fermented milk for a week, and we honored the chosen Ew. huntress as a hero. All right. And she left, and we returned to our duties. We still sang her name to the skies during festival season, but we otherwise didn't speak of her. These, these people are fucking crazy. Uh. Uh, what happened to her? I don't think she ever returned. Uh, people always forget what's in front of them, or what's not in front of them. Uh, okay. It's not being forgotten by my village that troubles me, but. Sometimes I wonder how my husband and children remember me, if they think of me often. That must be difficult. No you abandon your goddamn babies. More often I find myself wondering whether Persoff will remember us. You claim to see souls. What do you think? Do you remember your past uh, lives? Fragments. Um... <laughs> there are parts I like and parts I don't. I wonder what Persak remembers about our village. Or if a turn at the wheel has yanked the details out of his mind like it does for most of us. Uh. Has your village changed much? It's probably much the same as it was a hundred years ago. We live between tundra and frozen forests, and the land takes as much as it gives. But our hardships bring us together. And the elders truly unite us. They keep the stories of past generations, and they guide us from season to season, through good years and we. Okay. Recently, there have been a lot of good years. My aunts say we've had fewer clashes with neighboring villages. Okay. Um. That's what I'm supposed to remind him. Okay. It sounds like you're on the hunt of your own, though. Um uh, 
Uh, I'd be hoping to, I want to just hang out in my keep. Like, I have a keep. <laughs> like, why can't I just hang out there? Alright. Uh, we've got darkness on our side. Shall we move on? Yep, let's go. Okay, that took forever. But now we got Ready, watcher. an archer. Let me see what she has. Why well, she ain't got shit? Fine hide armor, a fine hunting bow, and dual wielding. Alright. Do you have anything better for her? I don't want to give her a crossbow, really. Um. Alright. Well. Let's keep going. Hey. Now we got a full party. Oh, I need to redo my custom thingy. How do you do that again? Formations. There we go. Uh. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I think like that maybe. Because I want the, the wolf needs to be in more of the front, and the wizard in the far back because he's the squishiest. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, yeah, I'm cool with that. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> the little fucking fox thing. Wait, it's a wolf. I'm so confused. Yeah, hey, whatever. Whatever, I got a ranger. And a full party, which is cool. Oh, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, a house. Let's go check it out. Okay. Uh... Is there really nothing over here? Grab the loot. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Wow. Alright. Alrighty. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go to Defiance Bay. Oh, I guess I do have... And yeah, no, I'll go to Defiance Bay. Fuck it. Alright, let's go to the bridge. The campfire would be good. What? Are you seriously already fucking fatigued? You're not even fatigued. Are these just people I can look into? Yeah, I don't need to do that. Alright. Let's see what lies this. This is a bunch of commoners running around. <laughs> Poor guys, just commoners. Just silly commoners. Oh, just a car. Okay. Can I loot that? I can. All right. Let's go in. Copper Lane. Cool. Cool, cool. <sighs> Defiance Bay. Ooh. The city at the heart of the Deerwoods Revolution now seems on the brink of another. Refugees line the streets, homeless and hungry. Displaced by Whiteman's legacy, hoping for relief within the city walls, and finding none. Dissidents congregate to protest and to heckle, calling for an end to Enomancy and the ouster of their duke. The city's militiamen cast fearful looks as they patrol the streets, their hands trembling at the hilts of their weapons. The capital of a country that had not long ago incinerated a god now appears to be a spark away from sharing the deity's fate. Damn. Alright, let's do it. So that's act one done. Cool. Alright. How's this looking? Finished in five hours? Okay, cool. So that means when I rest, it'll be done. Cut! Commoner. Mushrooms. The city of Defiance. Crown jewel of the Deerwood. If you ask the locals. Okay. 
Rowan. Rowan's arms are crossed, his mouth is green. Uh, new in town, eh? You've picked yourself an interesting time to visit Defiance Bay. All these refugees fleeing the frontier and finding the legacies no better here. It's the Animancers, Magrin, Scorchum, and then they nest in the city like rats. You mark my words, though. <clears throat> Us dozens are going to put a stop to it. Those are the dozens. Uh, tell me about the dozens. We've, we're an organization of interested citizens who want to free Defiance Bay of the dangerous influence of Animancers and the tyranny of the aristocrats who support them. We also consider ourselves a militia of sorts, seeing as the Crucible Knights are little more than a flock of preening nobles in training. Okay? Just like a militia, the dozens accept... Oh wait, just like a militia, the dozens, except for the training and the discipline and the code of honor. Wow. And we're always looking to expand. Uh, you have an interest in hearing stop by Admus Den sometime? Okay. Alright. Adios, sir. I'll take a look. I think I'm, I'm just going to sneak around in case I can find anything. Alright, what we got around here? Nothing. Cool. Wow, this is a large area. Goose and the Fox, Marketplace. Prinsic's house? Oh, that's the Admus. Okay. Uh, scavengers. Okay, well, I'm just going to run around and check out everything. It's going to be cool. Let's go in here first. This is the, I'm assuming this is the inn. Alright. Alright, let's see. This is definitely the Bishop. I was I like that name. Bishop, it's a badass Welcome. name. The man behind the bar is nearly the size of an owl mile. Oh, he's just a giant dude. Um This is a lively place. It's found in the early days of Deer Wooden Independence by a traveling scholar. Alright. Uh it didn't take long for the place to fill up. Okay. Dear Williams have never been known to turn down an argument. Okay. So that's interesting. Uh, so there's an salty mass. Uh, no matter. Okay. So let's just backstory on that. Alright. Um, let's order some stuff. How many camping supplies do I have now that I think about it? Two? Alright. Hey, I, will, I will fill up. Give me all your camping supplies, girl. Anything? Oh! <gasps> A dog. I could buy a dog. What? What? I can equip a dog? A dog! Oh my god, I have a dog now. Awesome. <laughs> uh, can I get a room? Alright, so common room. Wow, it costs money on the common room? What a dick. Um... I'm gonna go dexterity and stealth. Cause I have the money to do it, so I don't give a shit about spending money. But I want the buff, especially if I'm gonna be running around uh, exploring. All right, my construction completed. Nice. So now we can make a dungeon. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Edith, well, Edder wants to talk. Pretty sure you won't find one among them who stood within a hundred miles of that bridge when the god hammer went off. Too bad, too. Damn. Then there'd be less of them. What do you have against them? Nothing. I don't have against a lot of folks. Anyway, the dozens—they like to take things into their own hands. Gets ugly. We don't have them in Guild Vale, but they'd be right at home. Okay. Pick that name so they could do what they wanted and feel like it was right. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, people hide behind. Yeah. The ducks are reasonable, man. The dukes. The du I, ca I can't not say ducks because it looks like it says ducks. God damn it. Defiance Bay would get him to force people. Uh. Alright, let's continue on. Interesting. 
Oop, nope. Let's get everybody. Noble mercenary. Who's this? Kanra? Once it's by herself spinning something on the table in front of her. This is not a good time. Uh. Ooh, like you could use another drink. <laughs> uh, I'll get there. Just try to calm down and try to talk myself out of something foolish. Oh? Something I need to give to my fiance, Pernisk. Only he doesn't seem to go anywhere without his new friends. They're not exactly pleasant company. Wait, a purple and blue is also going to Oh, so she got decked by her husband. Let me murder this guy for you. Uh, I know how this looks, but you don't understand. It's not like... Pernsick. It's these new friends of his. They've brought out the worst in him. Uh, they're coming to our house with their dead eyes and their black teeth. I'm not a fool. I know what this means. Uh, makes me leave when they show up. This time I came, I told them to get out. Let them have their fun somewhere in the gift, but not under my roof. Uh, Prince I knew wouldn't have squashed the spider. Um, let's see. I don't really know. Okay, so they're taking, so they're doing drugs. We're finished. I just want to give this back to him and have a clean break. Oh, it's the ring. I'll take it to him. That's just north here. Just please don't hurt him. As furious as I am, I don't want that on my conscience. All right. So I'm gonna kill him. No. <laughs> what does the reveal? Anybody back here? Nope. Time to fucking loot. Why not? What we got in here? Ooh, a ring. Of preservation. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Let me. What rings do you have? He has that one. Then a deflection. Let's get rid of that one and we'll go with that. You have a ring of deflection. Oh, I can give it to this girl. Yeah, I found someone to give my deflection stuff to. It's making you watch a Heroes of the Storm commercial right now. What, did you just come back or something? Brad Furris? Furris. Actor, merchant. Oh yeah, they don't have anything to say. Okay. Let's keep on keep it on. Let's go upstairs. Oh, it randomly started. That's weird. That's really weird. I don't know why. It didn't start on mine. I don't know why it started. Any weapons that still touch the slash? Okay. Uh, Deadshot, Daedrin, Hurdy, Ilfa, Two Tone, Wexel. What is it? What are these people? Feeling this. What's this? Okay. Can I just not talk to any of them? They must become important later. Good day, stranger. Oh, nope. I can talk to Two Tone. Uh, who are all of you? My name's Two Tone Weeksel, Wexel, the Ladies Key. Had our fun with expedition, but we're hoping to enjoy a little peace and quiet for the next few weeks. I'm Dreadshot Dayton. This is Hurdy and Ilfa. Alright. We're part of a separate expedition team. Teams. Wait, we're part of separate expedition teams, but we suffered losses and decided to band together. Beasts, barbarians, beowalks. It's a dangerous time to be adventurer. And here's too many more prosperous journeys. Alright. So they're basically like us. Okay, that's funny. Time to see and not be seen. Time to see and not be seen. Is there anything in here? Nope. I can do that. I can do that. Take all that shit. Can they see me? <laughs> they can definitely see the mountain of people who just filed in. What? Can you do this one? I can do that. I can't tell if he can be seen right now or not. Oh, he can. Just get out of here. Fuck it. Hey. That's not worth starting a fight over. 
Oh, we got a book. Is this is the most unfortunate tale of Favia and Burnett. All right, weird. Let's keep going. That's locked. All right, let's get out of here. You must gather your. You must gather your body. All right. get out so let's go do I think that his house is right above me so I'm gonna go to that and then we can go to the uh, the place where the dozens are to the right <laughs> 